Hi guys, it's Miss Shop Slot and I have a haul for you guys today. So what we have here is a mixed mash of garage sale stuff and thrift store stuff. Mostly garage sale, I believe this haul is. And some Christmas presents that I'm going to be giving. This is also stuff that I will be selling, keeping. I will let you know as we go through what is for sale, what's not. And if you're ever interested in something, please hit my email below and let me know. Without further ado, this was from a garage sale. If you watched my last video of the cool jewelry that I ha had got, this was also from her garage sale. I paid $3 for these. And they're beautiful. Gorgeous. So you get this beautiful dust bag. And they are... Johnny was I mean these are absolutely gorgeous she said she tried them on walked through her house and they were just too big for her there are 39 so I'm not sure if that equates to a 9 or an 8 Some the different designers are different um I'm tempted, so tempted to keep these, but I think I'm going to resell those. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is like the only, I think I've only found like three Johnny Was items, that being the third. All right, so we got this, which I was, wait, hold on. Majority of this is from a garage sale. So this was $7.50. I offered her $5. It is a Margaret Godfrey. I'd never heard of this name. It's a 14. It is spectacular. Okay, hold on. It is suede, button-up shirt, jacket. I don't know. I think it's more of a shirt with that ruffle detail and then the ruffly sleeves. This is so cute. This is the back. Yeah, I believe this is a shirt. This is just a suede shirt. I think this would look so cute. I have big chichis, so I would probably wear this snapped up but open with like a black lace bodysuit or something underneath it. But I definitely love this. I think I'm going to keep this. Uh, this is super random, but... These are one of my best sellers, especially during the holidays. However, they do sell all year round. And it, it are, it's these. There's only certain ones, though. Um, not all of them. This is a Land's End one. And are these needlepoint stockings. Even if it has a name, people take the names out and put their own names in. So I picked this up at a grad sale to resell. Um... Okay, so this item <laughs> I'm having a problem with because I kind of really am obsessed with it and want to keep it, but then I thought it would be a cute gift. I don't know, but I love it. It is this brand new old stock, very old stock, um, Arctique water bottle in this amazing uh, bl purpley pink color. Still has the tags on it. Um, I'm thinking 70s at least. It was originally 349, maybe even 80s. That looks like 80s. Um, oh my God, they had little cute little. Oh, I need that. I need that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say just that it's vintage, but I paid a dollar. Is this not the most amazing water jug? Brand new. I kind of think I love it. I kind of, I think I would appreciate it more than say like my daughter would. So I might, I might have to keep that. Like look at, look at it in its beautiful vintage amazingness. Ah, dilemmas. Okay. Back to this stuff. Um, so I did hit a sale, uh, before they were even open. It was kind of accidental. It was like, Towards the end of my day, I want to say it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And apparently this was a later street sale because we tend to have those here um, that start at 4, 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, this one had was starting at 4. 
Um, but she was setting up at two and I thought it was like the end of the day and she was closing up, blah, blah, blah. So she let me go in and, and gave me a discount on all this. Some of these were worth something. Some of them weren't. I don't remember which were or weren't. All of these are going to be for sale. The first thing is this Forever Amber by Avon. New. <coughs> oh, sorry. Allergy season. It's incredible that my allergies... Well, I would say it was new at one point. <laughs> it's like three... Ooh. Ooh, that kind of smells nice. Three quarters full. These were 50 cents a piece and are... I only know of one. One of these I know is worth something, but I don't remember. Uh, this is Cody Emrod. Emrod? Emrod? And this is Cody Leamont. Uh, some people buy them just for the bottles. This is a brand new bottle of Nina Ricci L'Art de Temps. I remember this scent. Um, she gave me a discount on everything, so what the price is and isn't exactly what I paid. This is Reverie Tuvash LL Burger Mist for a dollar. Well, not really, because like I said, she gave me a discount on all of it. Oh, this looks gross. Ugh. This looks sus. So this might just be for the bottle, which is actually really pretty. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it stinks. There's at least half a bottle in there. Ugh. But the bottle itself is very pretty. It'd be cool to clean it. And... Oh, God. <laughs> it stinks so bad. Ugh. Um, so, like, I was hurrying because I thought she was closing up and then found out afterwards she wasn't. Uh, this is another Nina Ricci, the Eau de Temps, the Air du Temps, Spray Eau de Toilette. This is Emrod Cologne Spray. This, I think, is worth something. This is the Jean Nate, a spray of Nate Bath and Body Perfume. I've never seen the perfume. I've seen the big bottles of powder and the big bottles of that bath after bath stuff my grandma used to put me in after the bath. Uh, this is that Reverie stuff again. This is like, must be like a, a small, oh, that's really cute. That is really cute. Does it have perfume in it? Oh, it does, but I think you could get that out. Oh God. I think you could get, get that out. Maybe if I boiled it, I really like that. I kind of want to keep that and put perfume in it. Um, we'll see. I have to see how to clean that and get the stink out, the smell out. And then this little tiny bottle of Givenchy. Look how teeny tiny it is. Okay, that was all from there, I believe. Unless this one might have been there, too. This is... I don't know. This, I believe, is Russian... And it is this really pretty powder box. And does it work? Oh, it only works when you take it off. So I picked this up. I think it's so pretty. I mean, I would love to put my face makeup in there. Because you just... To be fancy? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Allergies are killing me. I think they're worse in the winter than they are in the summer sometimes. So I picked that up. I'll probably use that myself. Um... This, I loved. I picked this up at a garage sale. I think I was with Princess Casserole when I got this. Um, I, I believe I paid like two bucks for the whole bag. And it's vintage um, bar stuff. So we got their swizzle sticks and uh, 
what are they called? I can't even think. Cup, cup holders, cup, whatever. These are, oh, official steel of Lackawanna. That's fun. We got Safari Country Club, Ellenville, New York. I don't think I've ever heard of Ellenville, New York. We have steel, little. I will probably clean some of these. I might sell just because I don't know them, but like that steel one, I might just keep um, for like the guys when they come over for their drinks. Uh, this is top of Toronto. Oh, these are um, I forget what that's called. But top of Toronto. I'll keep those. Some more of these. Probably don't need that many. Uh, these are just plain. These are Old Crow. Kentucky Whiskey, the Old Crow Distillery, Frankfort, Kentucky. Playboy. Oh, there's Playboy and old crow i might have to keep those vintage playboy those are cool uh we got these don't say anything we have that ellenville new york place again and we have music weekends jolly roger calvert extra Music Week ends. Music Week ends. Jolly Roger. I don't know. And the last ones are a mix. We got Maxim Las Vegas. I'm sure these are not there anymore. Eat and drink to the last raw. I remember these being in steaks. Like this one reminds me of something that was in a steak. We got Bally's Atlantic City. We got Seagram 7. I can't tell where that's from. Bally's. We got Dunfee's. Maxim. Marriott. I thought they were pretty cool. And then these are <laughs> very retro. guys got some birds these are actually really cool and then we got disabled veterans veterans of foreign wars oh they go on the side monarch butterfly philippines veterans vfw these I probably won't keep. I won't use these. These are actually really cool. Very vintage. Probably won't use those either. So I'll probably sell those. Sell most of these. I picked these up for 50 cents a piece. Um, I'm not sure if I can use it as an actual doorknob or if I can just put them on something and use to hang things. This ring says something i can't read it though it says no idea but it looks like opals i don't know if they're real or not it says like <sighs> sun spec sun spec that's what i see no way I'm going to be able to. Maybe. It looks like it says sun spec in there. So I added a few more things to this haul because I had extra stuff. Uh, the first thing is this. I picked this up, the case, from a yard sale. I think it was like 50 cents or a dollar. And it's Tory Burch. I'll probably resell this because I don't have... 
any Tory Burch sunglasses. Every other brand, but not Tory Burch. I picked these amazing Versace glasses. I said I wasn't going to buy any more Versace because I have quite a few pairs already. But I really, really liked these ones. They're very expensive. Um, limited edition Versace tribute. And I paid $30 for these online. These are amazing. I love these. Uh, this was... This was a dollar. This is from a garage sale as well. It says, this gift is the first step to creating beautiful memories. I don't even remember what this is. It's rituals. Oh, I think this is perfume or something. <clears throat> yeah, we got um, the ritual of Ayurveda. The ancient art of living wisely. It's got hand wash, pink salt scrub, Bouncing body cream, and this is harmonizing foaming shower gel. Perfect for the holiday season as a gift. Uh, this will either be put in my gift closet or it will go up for sale depending on how much it resells for. So we picked that up. Uh, these were all from a garage sale, these were all 50 cents a piece, and we got pink, fresh and clean, luminous body bronzer. We got Victoria's Secret Bronze, Instant Bronzing Shimmer Dry Oil. I am leaving for Florida in a couple of days, so I'm bringing this with me. Then we have Paris and Bloom. We have Bombshell Blonde or Bombshell Body Perfect Tan Gradual Self Tan Lotion. I'll give this to my daughter. And lastly, we got Champagne Toast. Oh, no, not lastly. And then we got pink chiffon. This one was $2. And that's... Oh, and I do have a mystery bag. I paid $3.99. And let's see what we got. First thing is this brush from So Susan. Never heard of So Susan. That's one of uh, those. We got All Good Sports Sunscreen SPF 30. And what is the date? Expires for 2021. So this is garbage. We got Marad Rapid Collagen Infusion Age Reform. Try that. Lavender Hydra Sol Pure Lavender Distillate. Beauty Mist. I love these. I bring these on the plane and travel with me. It's just like a refresher in your face. And the lavender is calming, especially when flying. I am not a good flyer. Uh, lavender Hand and Body Lotion. We got Gravani Full Potency Shave Gel. We got Bare Essentials. I don't know. Is this bent on purpose? What is this? Oh, it is. Slanted liner brush. I don't... Like an eyeliner brush, I guess? <laughs> we'll try it. And then we have Temp2 BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. I think this is for the spray... Oh, no. Shake well and apply by hand. I'll try that. Uh, some more Gravani samples. We got Daisy... Dream, Mark Jacobs. We got Caudalie Vine Active um, Energizing and Soothing Eye Cream. Bare Minerals. This is like a purple. I'll see. Purpley pink. I'll see it. My friend wants that. Uh, we got a Peel Liquid Cream Lipstick in a red ish color next level we got black rose cream mask from Sisley we got real chemistry luminous three-minute peel 
we got NARS lipstick in Le, Pla Le Palace. It's red. And lastly, besides a bunch of those Gravani samples, we got Wen Lavender Styling Cream. I put all these together when I find Wen stuff, throw them all in a lot, and sell them. People still buy them. Uh, I picked up, well, we won't do, we'll do the jewelry after. I picked this up, Pandora. I don't know if these still sell. This is a ornament that I believe you put like a ring or a charm or something in. So I picked this up. Does it have a year 2020? It is really pretty. Uh, I picked that up to resell. I think this was from a garage sale for like 50 cents or so. This was from a garage sale for 50 cents. That's a eucalyptus and santal. Eucalyptus and santal. Mm, smells good. Brand new candle. Uh, this I just picked up. It's Elegante, and it is a... I'm going to try it. Um, comes with this headband. And then this, you put like your hair and curlers. And then you put this on your vacuum. Not your vacuum. Your, uh, what is it called? Hair dryer. To dry your hair. I'll try it once. If not, I'll sell it. <laughs> uh, these two I picked up. These were 50 cents a piece. I don't know if I can put them together and use them as a doorknob. I'm going to try. And if not, I will just use these on like a board as like decorative. This I think is so pretty. I will use this year round. It is holiday garland, but it looks like jewelry. So I'm going to use this in my jewelry room. You guys. And that's what I got that for. And this, I think, was from a garage sale for like 50 cents a dollar. So I picked that up. Uh, okay, now jewelry stuff. This was a dollar. It's a really pretty headband. It is missing one piece here, but I feel like I can just add something else. Like pop this one off and just put two different ones there. These were $4.99 sterling silver rope earrings. I really like these. I picked these up for myself. These I already showed the open ring. These were all a dollar fifty. This one I felt like was really pretty. Is that Damascene? It almost looked like it was gold with a black over it. Um it's got this crazy Thing to open it. I don't see any marks, but I really didn't get a good look. I'm going to look it over a little better. Um, but I thought it was really pretty for $1.50. This one was $1.50. This is marked sterling. And it's got some other signature, but I can't see. And last but not least of the pins, this one was also $1.50, and this was Bob Mackey. I picked this up at a different thrift store, and this is a Buffalo belt buckle, brass, and this was $3 minus half off, so it was $1.50. <coughs> this is Kirk's Folly. It is a watch. And it was $8. Okay, so this <clears throat> is all from a garage sale. Right here. Oh, we got some makeup too. This was brand new at a garage sale for a dollar. I got this metal box to start with for five. Or brass box, sorry. I thought it was super cool. It needs to be cleaned up. It is marked on the bottom. Decorative Crafts 3342. I don't know what they put on the bottom of this. Probably something to make it 
not slide. Let me looking down. And then we got some goodies in here. Bunch of fake lashes. I paid, it looks like a dollar a piece. Yep. 75 cents for this NYX. That's the point. I, uh, eyeliner. We got the Glamnetic Magnetic Eyelashes, which I've been dying to try, so we're going to give those a try. Uh, these are all dollar. Ruby May Magnetics Fabulashes and Kiss Paparazzi. We got this Medterra Clinical CBD Cooling Cream for $3. I also bought some other CBD oil stuff. Okay, so then we have some jewelry, a couple pieces in here. This is, so I got this in the summertime, so I don't even really remember what's in here. So this is, this is exciting for me too. This was sterling silver, $5. And it is, oh, this is pretty. Um, is it some, it, this is Silpata. And it is this long sterling chain with this pretty pendant and like a diamond on it. We got this that was 25 cents for the set. And we got this. Hold on, we're stuck here. This, I don't know if this is marked, but it's this thick ring. I don't understand that thick ring, but these are super, super cute. I'll probably give these to my friend with the little butterscotch earrings. So cute. Uh, more jewelry. We got this. It was a quarter. And these are sterling silver and I don't turquoise beads little dream catchers and feathers those are really cute there's more jewelry we got this for 50 cents and this is this is this is, this is stay beautiful um i don't know if this is sterling or not Beautiful. We got these. I think these were all a quarter as well. They're neat. These I love. Oh my god, these are my favorite. These are so cute. Hold on. I don't even wear clip ons, but I probably wear these unless I turn them into regular earrings. Look how cute these are, little lanterns with the little candles in them. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my god, these are so cute. Those, and then these were a quarter as well, and I believe these are, I believe these are shell? Same with the white ones. So 80s. These were the probably one of the best deals that I got. These were $10 and these were $10 and I offered her 15 for both. And these are, one of them is Ray, okay, so these are vintage Ray-Ban. These can sell up to $300. I've sold some of the vintage Ray-Ban for $300 the, with the yellow lenses. Um, Depending on the style, they can sell upwards of three, three, four hundred dollars. These ones though aren't Ray-Ban, I don't think. They're not. I don't see Ray-Ban written on them. Um, so they just might be just old vintage. 
So I'll still try to sell those. I'll see if they may, they might be. I don't know. But I picked those up to resell. All right, we got a couple more things and then we'll be done. I picked this up on line. Louis Vuitton. And this is to put like a notebook or a agenda and it's pretty big hand so I picked this up for $25 it is authentic vintage very good condition um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or resell that one yet and then we got a couple purses we got this one which is a fossil this was a dollar this is really pretty um, doesn't look like it was ever worn excellent condition this one was three dollars. Boy, three or five. Let's see. Oh, this one was ten. But these are silly expensive. This is by Mar Marnie. Marnie, and it is this like snakeskin tote, blue leather. Very very good condition. Very very nice leather. I love this bag. So we picked that up to resell. Uh, and then these three are also going to be for resale. So we have this guy, which I believe this little crossbody croc. And this is Furla, vintage Furla. These were only like 50 cents a dollar. Um, this one I loved. Dollar. So pretty, girly. I can picture some lady wearing this on Sunday to church with her gloves. It says handmade in Hong Kong. And lastly, this one. I remember having one of these as a kid. Like... It was somebody's that they gave to me, um, and it's reversible, so you can wear it the black side, or you can turn it inside out and wear it the white side. So cute. Still in really, really good condition. And that's it. So that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions... Please let me know. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.